Okay, bro, so two months ago, I made a video where I said this. Just so you know, you know where I am, you might around September, which is basically when my birthday birth, birthday is, I can't speak. Uh, you might see me in another country. I might be making these videos in another country on the beach, maybe uh, on a mountaintop, you know, in the, in the jungle, in the rainforest. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be, but that'd be cool if that happened. Now, the reason I said that was because I knew that I could look back on that video and know that I did achieve some of those things, right? I wanted to have a documentation moving forward of how that actually happened. And so I think it's really important. And today I want to talk a bit about how your life can change way faster than you think it can. Okay. Now I am finally back. Been gone for a few weeks in Thailand, have not been uploading as frequently as I'd like. But when I take big trips like that, bro, I really like to kind of just take some time to think about where I'm headed in life, where things are going and really experience uh, where I am as opposed to just spending a ton of time filming, editing and all that. Uh, I did in the community post, it seems like some of you guys want to see the footage from Thailand, some of the vlogs. So I'll probably make like some short vlogs, maybe uh, like 10 minutes, something like that, just of the certain areas in Thailand in case you guys are interested. Uh, and traveling there yourselves, maybe it'll help you a little bit. Uh, but yeah, super beautiful place. And so I had, I had basically this. You can see the vision board up behind me there. That's where I put a lot of uh, my goals, right, for the year. And I had this up there, this picture, which is really just a picture of a place in Thailand, right? And I specifically had that up there because I wanted to have that goal put up on my vision board so that I would remember where I was heading, right? My most important goals I put up on my vision board so that every day I can see them, visualize them, and move toward them. And so for you, I think it's really important, uh, you know, if right now, if you wanna move forward fast, right? And just like I did, the biggest thing that I've really discovered is having a vision and having goals, right? I always talk about this, specific vision, specific goals, like clear goals, right? And a clear vision as to where you're headed. Now, right now, you might not know what that is, right? For me, every day, I'm sort of honing in on and refining my vision and goals. but. Right now, you need to set something. You need to set some goals for yourself because if you're sitting around overthinking, you know, you don't know what to do in life. Oh, I'm so confused. There's so many different options. What business do I start? Oh, what, what degree should I go for? What job should I get? You need to literally set goals for yourself. Just anything, any goal that you think that you might want, you need to just set that for yourself and just move toward it because as you move toward it, you're going to course correct. So, you know, let's say you set a goal for, I don't know, you want to get into a certain profession, uh, you know, become a programmer or something, okay? You start you start working toward it, you, you go to college, you start doing, you know, the different classes you need to do. You end up realizing, you know, I don't like this. I don't actually like this. So now, guess what? You're, you're course correcting. You're gonna course correct your goal, but you move toward it so you got more information. If you just sit around overthinking and I don't know what to do, I have so many options, you're never gonna get out of that trap. So that's one of the biggest things is setting a vision, setting goals, even if you don't know exactly what it is or you don't think it's perfect, just do it anyways and just start moving toward it, bro, because you're literally wasting time. Like for me, going from 20 to 25 was literally just like that. Like it just, five years just gone. Now, luckily within that time frame, I was able to sort of catch myself and kind of come out of this sort of depressed, dark state that I was in and just uh, being addicted to all these different things and trying to get my life on a better track and I still have so much time in this life to go right It's not like a particular rush or anything But it is kind of important that you put yourself on that right track as quickly as possible because in this modern world There's so many distractions There's so many things that you can become addicted to that will drag you down a dark path, right? And that will really sort of suck you in so if you want to be living that life of freedom if you want to be living that life of maximum contribution to you know, the people around you, right? Being able to help your family, being able to really live to your potential. It's important that you set a vision and you set goals for yourself that you can move towards every single day. And so for me, putting that, that picture up on my vision board about Thailand, you know, I did that because that was one of the major goals I wanted to hit this year and I did it. And you can see two months ago, I made that video saying that I was gonna do it and that these are the goals that I have. And that's the power of having a sort of vision, having goals that you're writing down every day and staying focused. Now, I haven't achieved all the goals that I wanted to achieve this year, right? I've achieved some major ones and I'm working towards others. But the thing is, is even if you don't achieve exactly what you want to achieve, just the fact that you've gotten 20%, 30%, 40% closer to that goal is infinitely better than not doing anything at all, right? If you set a goal, you know, uh, to make a certain amount of money this year, you want a new job or a career or a business, even if you get 
20% of the way there. Okay, great. Now you've gone 20% higher in terms of your income or 20% higher in terms of your happiness of, you know, what you're working on. So it's not about always completing it and getting it 100% all the time. That's just not going to happen. But if you actually set goals for yourself and you're moving toward them, even if you get a little bit of the way there, right? Maybe next year you get the rest of the way there or you get another 50% of the way there. So it's just about consistently taking action and moving towards, you know, something that you want and that is going to make your life better. And if you can do that, you'll be amazed at how fast your life can change. Just for me, over these past two years, my life has changed so much. And of course, it's not where I want to be. You know, a lot of times too, we get caught up in seeing all these other people on social media, you know, who are the outliers, extreme outliers who get attention. And then everybody's thinking, oh, well, you know, why am I not at that point yet? You know, why am I not, uh, you know, uh, completely like super like jacked freaking uh, bodybuilder in, in one year, you know, <laughs> why am I not a, a multi-billionaire, multi-millionaire by the age of 25 or 30 or, or 21, whatever. And it's because you're comparing yourself and seeing literal, the most like extreme outliers, right? Which a lot of the times are fake, by the way, uh, of these people who, you know, get all the attention on social media because the most extreme things obviously get the most attention in the algorithms. So yeah, it's just, it's just this whole thing of like, making sure that you're focused on what you need to do because the path that you need to take may not be the same as everybody else. You have a specific gift, a certain calling, right? And your life can change very fast if you align yourself with that. If you're always kicking against, you know, the, the pricks, if you're always trying to go in the direction that isn't meant for you and you're doing it just because of what you see on social media or all these different things, you're never going to contribute to people you love and or humanity in the best way possible and you're not going to ever get those rewards for yourself so that's another big thing is setting your vision and your goals and making sure that you aren't just basing those goals and that vision off of what you see on social media or what society has told you to do you know your vision and goals could be you want to live out in the middle of i don't know like out in the middle of nowhere out in the the, the woods of like alaska like being like a, a homesteader or something. And you're gonna share that with the world and that knowledge with the world. And maybe you never become some super like rich guru who drives Lambos or whatever, but that's okay because you're following your calling. You're following your uh, sort of, your sort of gift. And that's how you're gonna make the maximum contribution. It's not by copying everybody else and what the supposed, you know, uh, success is right or, or what everybody talks about oh, high value man or whatever it's it's bullshit don't listen to it you need to follow what you're good at what is your flow state what is your uh what are your special abilities that you can contribute to uh, the world and that's where you're going to see the most success so that's what i realized stay out of the comparison trap of trying to do what other people are doing just because that's what you see on social media it's not true okay you don't need to live in a certain way to be valuable to humanity right you need to find your specific gift your specific path and follow that because you can't compare yourself to anyone because no one is you, right? There's only one of you. So that's basically, it. I just want to make an update video talking about that and let you guys know I'm still alive. I'm still out here. I'm still going to be making more content, uh, but it's just, I've been dealing with like major jet lag since I've been back. I've only been back like a day or two and I just, I haven't been able to record any content because jet lag is so bad. When you're going from East to West, it's so much worse than the first time when I went back because essentially you're, <laughs> Like it was like 12 o'clock when I left, then I got here and it was like 12, uh, it was like, or it was like 12 AM when I left there. And then when I got here, it was like 12 PM because it was like a 12 hour difference. So basically I'm getting a whole nother day, which just is like, oh my God, it's crazy. 12 hour differences, 40,000 feet in the air, jumping up and down. Like your body's just like, dude, what are you doing? It's crazy. International travel. Uh, but yeah, so basically that's what I got going on this year. I've achieved some major goals. I still got more goals to work on. Uh, we're gonna be heading soon into like doing like more stuff with my physique, lean bulk. Uh, of course, I got the business that I'm still working on. I'm trying to get that to the point where it's stable. I have changed some things around about that though. It's some, some different uh, reasons that I had and some different things I kind of discovered in Thailand about that sort of lifestyle that I'm gonna update you guys on because a lot of what you see out here isn't what you think. And I'm gonna make another video about that whole subject uh, in the future. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically, I just want to do a quick update video. Hopefully you're doing well, bro. Hopefully you're moving toward your goals and you have that clear vision that you're heading towards. So I will see you in the next video. I'll be posting probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to probably be getting back to a more regular uh, upload schedule. I got a bunch of stuff planned out, so I'll see you then. Peace.